Hey guys, we have made it to Gangte and we are super excited for about the next couple of days. So Gangte is the fourth largest city in Vietnam, which we're quite shocked about. And it's the largest city within the Mekong Delta region. So as you guys may know, Kim's family reside in rural Vietnam. And over the next couple of days, they will be showing us around Gangte and everything around here. But today what we might do is just go around all the tourist attractions and show you around. So we are starting our morning today at Mini Beach with a coffee and a fresh coconut with the view of the Gangta Bridge and we are super stoked so we'll take you guys with us and let's go! Hey guys, so we just got to the Chuk Lam Phuong um, Monastery and yeah we're just gonna walk around and just admire this place. I'm not sure the background behind it but I'm pretty sure it's one of the biggest monasteries in the south part of Vietnam. Yeah, it's over 38,000 square meters and it's humongous. Um, very pretty, a lot of people taking photos and just soaking in the atmosphere and I think we'll do the same. Alright guys, so we have just finished up with the monastery. Um, to be honest, a really beautiful monastery. We've seen a lot of people just hanging out, just enjoying their views and everything. Also young people taking photos for the social medias. <laughs> but nonetheless, amazing monastery. Quite beautiful actually. But we are quite hungry. So we are going to head to the night market. Okay guys, so we finally made it to the Jodem. So right behind us is the Jodem, but as we know there is two parts to it. So here is the section where they sell clothes and toys and such, but the other section adjacent to the street is where they sell the food. So we're going to head on over now by foot. Um, it's not far, it's about 1-200 meters and let's get some food. So we, here we have banh mi mui er, which it is bread which has been glazed with salt and chili and they've toasted it. On top there's onions, there's mayonnaise, chili sauce, there's also pork floss and pork sausage which is the jar here. Little thin cuts of it and that's all I can see. There's all I've seen that she's placed on it but it looks really really good. So it has been toasted, it's quite hot. I'm scared to burn myself. Let's try to grab everything. A little bit of pork floss, pork, mayonnaise, and the bun meat. Alright, oh. All right, let's go for this piece. Let's try this. Mm. Yeah. That's quite nice. The pork floss kind of melts in your mouth, it leaves that savory kind of taste. And then mayonnaise and then chili. Mm. Really good. Alright, so my time to try and honestly this is a very interesting and unique street style snack. Haven't seen it before, we've seen the sign but we didn't know exactly what it was. Because it kind of just says grilled bread with um, spicy salt and we're not sure what that is. But wow, when I saw Dion try it, I had to try it myself. And the bread is quite big so let's see how I go. Mm. That's very good. Salty, savory, spicy, creamy. It's amazing. Wow, so so far it's quite busy on this side where the food is and it's quite difficult because there are a lot of bikes and locals coming by just to grabbing what they want and so you have to be mindful when you are walking. 
Um, we see a lot of food, so a lot of bun mees, a lot of uh, Korean food. Korean food, desserts as well, a lot of desserts. And I've noticed one thing trending here, which is the soga. So we've had that in our previous video with the uh, Van Kip Road Street Food Night Market. If you guys haven't watched it, we'll put a link above. But that has been trending here. So I've seen four or five vendors so far selling it. And for you guys who don't know what it is, it's sticky rice with um, chicken and the awful parts. So we're gonna go around and try to find the best or the most popular one of that to try that and see what else there is. found ourselves some fruit <laughs> so obviously to stay refreshed and cool we had to go for fruit no drink just yet but they put it in a fancy little cup and they've shaken it up so what we have here is mango so sour mango a little bit sweet they've tossed it in salt and chili and then they've also topped it off with something I'm not sure what it is exactly That's true. it looks like some type of dried jerky maybe Strange to say, but maybe fish? Yeah, I think it's fish jerky. I can smell it. It's fish. Wow, okay. I'll give you the first bite. Okay. Oh. Mm. Some of this? Nah. I can't fit it in. Yum. It's a fish jerky. Mm. Ah. Super sweet. Mango super sweet. Salt and chili, perfect combination. As you guys may know, in Vietnam, Fruits are commonly paired with salt and chili. Mm. That's one thing that we've noticed, whether it's apples, you know, um, apricot, like the cock, fruits and stuff. What's it yeah. called in English? I think it's called umbrella. Umbrella, I believe. So also the mango is not too sour, not too sweet, so it's just right to kind of have a savory snack. Very interesting, like you mentioned, we're in seasons. But this one in particular, very interesting because of the fish jerky. Mm, different one, unique. I'll give it to him. I'll give you one more bite with the jerky. All right. Big combination. Alright, it's gonna have to be again, no more. Mm. Oh. It's a good combination. Yeah. It's nice and it's very fishy. Very fishy, sweet, and sour. All the combinations described earlier. Really good. Amazing. Not sure if it's healthy though, but. <laughs> We'll keep going and try to find our next meal. It is an extremely humid night and we came across this drinking uh, tea place which is super interesting because they have taps like this and then also what they have on offer. So very super simple uh, menu. This 17,000, it is a winter melon tea with oolong jelly and it looks incredible. Let's try it. Hopefully it's not too sweet, huh? That's good. Wow. It tastes a little bit like jasmine tea, but it's really good. And I can't seem to get to the jellies, but the tea so far is really good. Soga. Next one on our plate is soga. So we have sticky rice, there's lap churn, which is the Chinese sausage. We have shredded chicken, we have quail egg. We also have chicken eggs, which it's still intact. They've placed some of their special sauce and then a little bit of soy sauce. Got coriander on the side, gotta push that off. And yeah, and stick rice underneath. And I believe there's bits of jar as well and that you might be able to see. Right. Let's try this. I'm gonna try to buy off everything in it. So this is a must when you're at street night markets because it's so fresh. The rice is still steaming. And it's definitely, definitely delicious. Mm. The chicken egg just breaks into your mouth. It's so savory, so, so creamy. I'm trying some of the chicken. Look at it, That's good. One thing I love about this is they've loaded it with so much eggs. Whether it's chicken eggs, the quail eggs, the rice, amazing. Wow, it is really busy here and honestly there is a lot of food. It's a sort of street food around in a circle but there are a lot of doubles, even triples um, of a lot of food dishes. So we are getting a little bit full. We might head over to dessert now and see what we can find, right? Let's go.
Okay, so luckily last we picked up a few desserts and we finally managed to sit down. So much easier to eat when we're seated. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. I'm so excited. <laughs> I've got a super cute bunny bow, which inside is green tea. And myself, I have a bunso ring, which is the durian cakes. It's a mochi cake, I believe. And it's cold in the inside. Mm. It looks like that. Ooh. Mine's still steaming hot, which I'm impressed about. I thought it would be cold. And go, go first. I'm gonna try mine. Mine's soft, it's like a crepe, mm. but I'm pretty sure, it might be a crepe. I'm pretty sure it's a crepe mm. cake. And both is durian? Mm-hmm. Oh. Wow. Yum. Mm. So on the inside there's fresh durian. I'm not sure if that's gonna focus, but there's fresh durian. And then the outside layer has a layer of cream. And then it's like a crepe, I believe. Super generous with the durians. There's such a kick taste to it. I thought maybe just be a little bit, but no, it's loaded. It's really good. 34k for the two pieces. That's incredible. I thought they were gonna be a little bit frugal and you know mix up the durian and the cream together and put it into one kind of um cream formation. But no, durian separate with the cream, delicious. And it's not exactly a um, mochi. It's kind of like a layered cake, but the outside the texture is kind of like a mochi, but. Because you can see the layers there, it's a little yeah. bit different, a little bit uh, unique. Mm. Super delicious. I'm gonna keep going at this. All right, and then I'm gonna try mine. So green tea. There was a lot of options: uh, salted egg, chocolate, um, milk. Durian but I thought, as well. Don't yeah, oh yeah durian. durian as well. But we thought we'd try something different. So green tea. Ooh. Super cute. Wow. There we go. That is the inside. Mm. Green. Cool. It smells amazing. Straight together. Got green tea just so it's a bit more savory. It's quite late now. <laughs> Let's go. Oh. That's good. Yum. Wow. It's so creamy. Mm. It's also not sweet, too sweet. Mm -hmm. Obviously green tea has obviously a kind of bitter taste. But yeah. the two combined is amazing. That's good. That's really good. And because it's warm, the green tea checks up. It's not dry or anything like that, and that's really good. I, it's so cute too. 20k for one bun, and there's so much decoration and so much love goes to making one of these bows. Mm, exactly. I've got myself Sunan, uh, which is soybean drink, milk. Obviously, got mine with ice because it's hot today. But yeah, call me crazy, but it's a super good way to refresh yourself. All right, guys. So we're gonna call it night. We've had way too much food. We walked around in loops for the last two hours and we thought, okay, time to end this video. We are so tired. It's been a long day and an incredible first day here at Gangta. We went to go see the monastery. Uh, went to go look at the park and the bridge as well. And then also ended on the night market and an incredible day. Thank you guys so much for your support. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next. And she really wanna ride the world